Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. <laughs> These cards are just flopping right out. This is our daily card reading for August 24th, 2021. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, go to my website at angelsouls444.com. We can also do Akashic Records reading. Just please mention that in your submission form so I know what kind of reading to give you. That will help you understand what some of these past patterns are that you've been repeating <laughs> lifetime over lifetime and even the meaning behind it and where you're supposed to be heading kind of thing okay and also please make sure that you check out gumroad.com slash angel souls i not only have seven day archangel meditation challenges over there but a whole library of spiritual content on archangels on spiritual writing all of that okay so we have intuition here <laughs> it popped right out of the deck intuition this is what we're being called to connect with again so many of us have had our intuition dampened so that it's not so ideas can be funneled they're saying so that ideas can be controlled mm -hmm. yeah so we're still going to be in that for a good long while i'm sure but i think you know little by little we can start tuning back into what's right for us and asking ourselves if this, that, or the other is true. You know, I'm hearing a lot of people make choices based on past experiences. That's an easy thing to understand. But how many of us are still operating as if we're still in that traumatic situation? How many of us are not listening to our intuition because, you know, in the past we were so emotionally attached to something, we so wanted a certain outcome that we thought we would listen to our intuition, but we had added something to that story and then started going down a different path, right? This goes into that whole idea of law of attraction and how, um, you know, the story out there was you're very, very specific about what you want. Guys, I've done this. And you know what? I sure did manifest a soulmate, but that soulmate caused me immense pain, the pain that I'm still processing, you know? So it's very karmic. Because I wasn't, <laughs> I, I didn't catch everything. Uh, I figured that the universe would fill in the blanks here and there. And it sure did. It said, okay, honey, you ready to learn your lesson? Here you go. So that's what I'm saying here. There, and I see it all the time within the comments when people come and ask for readings. You know, they will almost give me their spiritual work credentials. I have done this and this and this and don't tell me this, this and that. Ooh, coming in here controlling the message. That's our human ego because we want to seem like spiritual beings. We want to say that we're intuitive. We want to say that we're successful, but it gets us all messed up, doesn't it? <laughs> right? Especially when we're not, it's all about authenticity, guys. If anything, when I, the day I die, what do I want on my tombstone? I want it to say she was genuine and authentic. Always. Hopefully warm and kind too. I hope you guys I feel that way too, but, <laughs> but I want people to understand here that this, you know, it's about tapping into that authenticity. And if your authentic self is pain, it's not exactly what we're talking about here. That goes through the ego level. But if that's where you are and you're saying, no, this is my truth right now. This is where I'm at. I just need to function through this or process this, then honor that. Okay. And what your intuition is telling you is probably not what you expect and so you dismiss it can't be doing that anymore even if you get an intuitive hit on something and you don't know what it is hi welcome to my life okay how many times you know i got a vision or i saw something I had a prophetic dream i had a prophetic dream about the floods that were happening in europe i had a prophetic dream about that but i didn't know exactly where you know, I didn't know exactly what was coming about with that. And I've got so many examples of that. So if we just ease into what we're, don't dismiss what you're being shown. Okay. And um, especially when it comes to where you need to head in your life. You're getting messages right now. If you're watching this video, you have gotten those messages. They may have come through your dreams. Or you might be getting hit with a song over and over and over in your head. I was giving the example in the weekly some sort of fairy tale, Tori Amos, okay? Like I, it's from the early 2000s. I think it came out in 2002 or something like that. Like it's not something that would just be on the radio and yet it got stuck in my head. And 
that helped me open up to my intuition about something that was really plaguing me. Okay. So this is going to help us get to a space of freedom and comfort and joy, but that doesn't mean that the lessons are done. And I think that's a lot of how we all live. We're living to avoid those lessons instead of going through them. Okay. Be aware of that. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.